Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am the Furniture Flipping Teacher. And I recently resigned from my full-time job as a kindergarten teacher. And now I am here to show you guys how I take old and outdated furniture and give it a new purpose and a new life in hopes to inspire a creative way for you to earn a little bit of extra income or even revamp the furniture in your own house. Today, I just wanna give a quick shout out to some of Neiman's old wedding clients, Pete and Tina. They reached out to us and her mom had this dresser and before putting it on Marketplace, they checked and see if I wanted it. And of course I said, yes, it is a beautiful French provincial dresser that I got for $50. So thanks to Pete and Tina for thinking of me. Today, this is actually a custom commission piece as well. I had someone that was interested in the six drawer French provincial dresser, but they wanted it to be longer. So that one's still on the market, but they wanted the same bright blue Harbor by Dixie Bell's Silk Paint. So that is what we are going to do today. But first, let's remove the hardware. I know I've had a lot of French Provincials here on the channel lately, but I can't pass them up when I come across them for such a good deal. So I hope you guys aren't getting sick of them. I think this is the last one that I currently have in inventory. So if anything, I guess that goes to show us that French Provincial is pretty popular right now so if you find one be sure to get your hands on it if you can let me know down in the comments have you flipped french provincial lately and how good of a profit did you get or did you keep it for yourself they're really nice dressers and a lot of them are really nice quality and i love how each and every one of them has some different qualities and it's different own uniqueness as well <laughs> You guys know the drill. I always keep these in one spot so that I can make sure not to lose them. And you can already tell right here exactly why we take the hardware off before we clean. Um, we will just have to go back and do double duty, but this will just make it so much easier to go ahead and clean that when we're cleaning everything else. I'm checking to see if they are the same size and everything, that way it doesn't really matter if I get them mixed up and they are the same size, so we'll be all good to go. All right, hardware is removed, so we're gonna go grab a white lightning so that we can give this a nice needed cleaning. This video is sponsored by Dixie Bell, so thanks to them for sponsoring this video and this piece. So we're gonna start out by using their white lightning and we'll continue to use their products throughout this video. White Lightning is Dixie Bell's cleaner. It's a TSP based cleaner. So it's just gonna help us get all that grease and grime off. And it's also a de-glosser. And this surface is very glossy, which is something that you don't want when you're gonna paint. So not only will the White Lightning help de-gloss that, but so will doing a light scuff sand. If at any point in this video, you see a product that you might wanna try, everything is linked down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. White Lightning is actually a granule substance and I just take it and put it into a spray bottle so it can dissolve and then I can continue to reuse and use and use the same water as opposed to having to get rid of it every time if I were to dissolve it in a bucket. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the drawers out and number them because I do need to still clean on the inside of there so that's just gonna be the easiest way for me to clean while I've still got my cleaner out. Cleaning is also another great time for you to check over your piece and see what kind of damage or fixes it might need. AKA, when I pulled this drawer out, this was not attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some wood glue here and just go ahead and attach that so that it can stick back on there. And then I'll also probably put some little screws in where they are supposed to be. Luckily, this was just an easy fix and nothing is actually broken. It just kind of popped off. So we'll let that dry for a while before we actually put this back inside of the dresser. 
that's some pretty dirty water. We're gonna go ahead and rinse to get all of that white lightning off and then we'll be ready to sand. While I was cleaning, I did notice one more little piece of damage down here on the foot, but it's no big deal. This is actually not a Dixie Belle product, but this is quick wood. So what it is is a two-part epoxy and it's a putty. So there's two colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it together and then this will harden over time, only about an hour if that. And so we'll put this where we want to kind of make the new mold. So that'll be a pretty good fix that will dry and then we'll do a light, light sanding to kind of make it all smooth. But really once that dries, it's just kind of blend right in. Doesn't even look like there was ever any damage. I think there was one more spot that I had seen, which is right here on the front. It's really small, but I'm gonna try to like build up the edge. So quick wood is a very awesome wood filler, but it's just really good for any molds or pieces that might be missing. All right, I am gonna be using my Surf Prep Sander at a 220 grit flat paper when I'm doing the tops and the sides. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spongy film for the edges and the curves. Also, I've got my mask. Again, all this is linked down below. We are good on the scuff sanding, so I'm gonna grab my microfiber cloth and wipe all the dust back. All right, we're ready to put some paint on. So I'm gonna be using my Scarlet brush from Dixie Belle, and I know that you guys know this, but I just love these handheld little brushes. They just fit right in there. And then I'm also gonna be using Harbor, the color from the all-in-one silk mineral paint. So this paint allows you to flip pieces in one day because all it is is a built-in primer, a built-in top coat, plus the paint. So you don't have any of those extra steps so you can get a dresser or something painted. Of course, after you prep correctly, like I just did, you can get it all painted in a little time. So I've used this paint one other time to paint that six drawer French Provincial that I showed you earlier. And so I'm at a little over half left still after painting that one dresser with two coats. So I would imagine that this whole dresser might take the rest of that with two coats. Plus I've got another can just in case. So we're gonna just go ahead and paint it on. And you wanna remember with silk paint that you don't wanna overwork it too much. So that just basically means that you wanna go back and forth only a few times in one area or else it's not gonna uphold its qualities such as the self-leveling qualities that this paint has. Another very important thing with silk paint is that you don't need to water it down. Usually with the chalk paint, I'm always watering it down. So, you know, with the silk paint, it's a little bit of a different paint. And because it has those all-in-one qualities, you don't need to dilute it at all. It's a really great consistency as is.
So I got that first coat on the drawers and now my quick wood has dried over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sand down, make it smooth. So there's just this leg and then a couple more spots and then one spot on the top that we're gonna do. I noticed when I was lifting the dresser by the edge here that it was just popping up a tad bit. And now that it's on its back, I see that this screw here is just a little bit looser than the rest of them. So I'm just gonna take my drill real fast and drill that in. Hopefully it's a little bit too. Oh, I got it better. So sometimes it's just those simple fixes that can really transform and update not even update, but just like fix up and make the best quality. So let's get on to the first coat on the base. First coat on this is finished as well and the drawers are dry but before I go to a second coat on that I'm gonna work on the hardware really quick alrighty we are going to work on the hardware here so right now it looks like this so it's cream with some gold accents and I am going to make it all gold so I am gonna be using Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax and this particular product is a wax so similar to a wax that you can do top coat with. You don't need to top coat this because it basically is a top coat in itself. I am just going to use an artist brush and then I'm going to apply it on here. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit and basically paint it on. This takes just obviously a bit longer than you know any spray painting would but the finished look I think is just so unique and worth the little bit of extra time that you might spend. So I've, I've done several different types of gold hardware with the French Provincial style. I once was able to clean it, I once spray painted it, and then now I'm going to be doing this. This was already painted on, so basically I didn't really want to mess with getting all the paint off. It was the original design, but still I just, that would have just been a lot of extra work when I might as well just use the materials and products that I already have. So that's what we're gonna do. Just recommend that you do use gloves or at least one glove because this is an oil-based wax so it will stain your hands gold, basically. The gilding wax is all on those pieces. So I'm gonna let that set for just a little bit. And then after I get that second coat of blue on, I'll come back and kind of buff it out and then we'll be able to reattach them. So second coat of the harbor coming at you now. Okay, second coat is on and drying. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and buff these out a little bit. And all that I'm gonna do is just take a lint-free cloth and kind of just rub on these a tad bit because I just wanna get any excess 
that maybe isn't sticking to them, but overall, this will cure over time. So we'll just do a tad bit and then we'll go ahead and start attaching them while we put the drawers in. Okay, so we've got one on there and I've got these labeled. So I'll go ahead and make sure to put them in the right spots. Nice and easy, put them in. One side finished up. It's looking lovely. This is kind of blocking your view, but I'm telling you it looks lovely. So keep watching. Finally got that drawer figured out. I really don't know what goes on sometimes with drawers. I try my best to number them and they're numbered right, but then I feel like maybe they weren't in the right spots when I numbered them. So who knows? Drawers will forever be my worst enemy. <laughs> this piece is finished, a one day flip. I was just thinking about the time it took me and it took me less than four hours from start to finish to finish this complete dresser using Dixie Belle's all-in-one silk mineral paint. So if you're interested in flipping a dresser in your own home and you don't have a lot of time, you don't need a lot of time. And if you're interested in flipping furniture and you don't have a lot of time, you don't need a lot of time. Less than four hours for a result like this and then you can ask for top dollar on your marketplace listing. As I told you, this one is not going on marketplace. It is a commission piece. I told you I got the dresser originally for $50 and then I ended up getting the commission order for a total of $500. So that is gonna give me a total profit of $450 for this entire dresser because of course, thanks to Dixie Bell for sponsoring this video and this flip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really learned and were able to see how just a simple coat of paint with the silk paint, especially this jar, costs $25 on Dixie Belle's website. And again, you saw it was a little more than halfway full and I got an entire dresser and I had already done another dresser with the paint before. So this is gonna get you a long way. If you wanna revamp your house, get some furniture off of Facebook Marketplace for cheap and then transform it with a little bit of work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Dixie Bell for sponsoring this video. Get subscribed down below if you wanna continue following along on our journey of flipping furniture and also continuing to support teachers in a multitude of ways, as well as continuing on our path of learning and growing each and every day. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the flip side.